It's not about how people see you or what they do to you. It's about how you present yourself. The wife is pretty awesome. She's a combination of the feminine and the masculine, okay? Whereas Wonder Woman, she's more about like making things happen and she's really focused on herself and her boundaries. And Wise Woman, she's all about, all about being intuitive with herself and being able to trust the process and trust life. The wife though, it's, it's bigger than her. Now she's thinking about, hmm, what kind of relationship would I wanna have with my future husband? What would I want that to be like? How I'm gonna show up in that relationship? In what way am, am, am I gonna maintain my power? What kind of role do I wanna have? What do I want our interaction to be? How do I want us to influence the world? It's about the bigger picture. The wife can step into a room and everybody's like, whoo. She's like, yep, solid and confident in who she is. And she can appreciate that people get mesmerized by her because she's powerful, but she doesn't need it, okay? So I wanna use this example without, I hope that this comes off, like I'm not throwing anybody under the bus. But for example, like with like Asia Curry, for example, she was talking about how it was important to her how it was important to her to get the validation from other men to know that she still had it, right? It wasn't enough to get it from her husband. But the wife, the, the wife archetype, she gets it from other men or from, for, from other women, but she doesn't need it because she already knows. Quietly powerful, yeah. So the reason why I'm teaching you to really become powerful in yourself is because once you attract that person, you know who you are already. You know what you want. It's no longer, ah, I think I rushed into this. This person is amazing, but I, I, I need validation from all these people, okay? So the wife knows, the wife knows her long-term vision. And every day she's living her life as her best self and she gets herself through anything that comes her way, right? There's gonna be challenges and there's gonna be amazing times, but she is, she is um, operating from a place of, I want my best friend by my side. I want my lover, my partner, my supporter. I, oh, it feels so good just thinking about it. Oh my gosh, if I'm loving my life right now, imagine how it's gonna be with my best friend by my side. Oh, wow, that's gonna be so much fun. That's going to be amazing. And imagine the things that we're going to talk about. Imagine the conversations we're going to have. Imagine the family that we're going to create or the family that we're going to be, right? It doesn't matter. Imagine how we're going to influence the world and support each other. Who do I have to be to, to call in a, a, a companionship, a union like that? I need to be open. I need to be ready. I need to be assertive. I need to be vulnerable. I need to be honest. I need to be committed. I need to be devoted. I need to keep my sense of self. Because one of the most tragic things I witness for a lot of couples is that their true self dies down and hope to save the relationship or save the marriage. They dampen who they are so they can mm, equalize their relationship, so to speak. But embodying these three archetypes are gonna, it, it's gonna make you so powerful that the person you attract into your life is gonna be on the same path, doing the same thing, looking at the world in a similar way. So the wife is all about her values. It's about who she is. She knows clearly who she's ready to bring into her life. She, she knows what she's gonna put up with, what she's not gonna put up with. She knows that there is no reason to wait. If she wants to wait, she can, but there is no reason to. She doesn't get influenced by friends and family. She knows how to make the best decisions for her. She takes responsibility for herself. She invests in herself. She thinks that the best money spent is the money that she spends on her own development. She's working on healing her trauma. She knows it's a never ending journey. She's committed to her self-love journey, but she doesn't make it toxic where it's like, oh, I'm good by myself. No, I really, 
I am great, but I will be even better with a partner because that's what I desire. And this desire wouldn't be put on my heart by God, universe, source, if it wasn't meant for me.